In this video I am going to show you what you can do with voids. You can use voids to cut walls in an angle, like in this example. Extend the wall. Then make an in-place family for the part you want to cut from the wall. Choose a category for the in-place family and give it a name. Create an extrusion for the part you want to cut. Extend the extrusion to the height of the wall, it can also be higher, it doesn't matter. Change solid to void. Activate the cut command and click the wall and then the void. As you can see the wall joins perfectly to the curtain wall. The void still exists and you can change it when needed. Sometimes it is difficult to select it. It is the best to select it in the browser under the family section. Another example, where you can use a void is a wall below a stair that should align to the stair slope. It is the same procedure. Make the wall higher, create an extrusion within an in-place family. Change the solid extrusion to a void and cut this void from the wall. I am going to hide this wall to see it better. At first define a plane. Then create again an in-place family and an extrusion. Change the solid to a void and cut it from the wall. The result looks like this. I have some more examples for you, just to watch. In this example I show you how to create a recess in a floor. As next I show you how to round the edges of a kitchen top.
The last example shows how to cut a piece from a floor so that the floor edge aligns with the slope of a stair. Thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss my next tips and tricks video, then please subscribe to my channel.